Hey, welcome to Tech Bytes Mobile. Today we're going to be talking about the cloud platform SDK for iOS and how this accelerates your development. Let me show you how you can really fast build a native iOS application. So once a developer has downloaded and installed um, the SAP Cloud Platform SDK for iOS, um, you can basically open up the iOS Assistant and this is uh, the tool which helps you to generate your uh, first project, right? And as you see it massively, it increases the developer productivity here, right? So we can choose in the uh, wizard here uh, to go with a sample application or an existing application. We want to use an existing backend. So we're going to go and pick the cloud account we want to work against. And inside that cloud account, we have several applications already deployed and we want to do that service technician demo. Uh, let's give this a name. This is TechBytes iOS and technician and we go next uh, it tells us that there's one destination that could also be access to multiple destinations um, which we are building against then there is a onboarding screen uh, automatically generated for us and we get a generated master detail view on the application right and what the ios assistant does now right now is he's fetching the odata metadata document from the destination, parsing out the entities and is generating the complete sync layer for us. And let's have a look at this. The Xcode project opens up and I have a class, uh, an, a Swift class for each of the entities of my backend data model, right? And uh, let's go and build the application in the background while I show how we can interact with the data. If we open this up, there is a, a class here, and this class basically um, is the data layer, uh, which all of the functions are calling. Let's see data query. And here is an example how a query is built, right? I can basically say I create a new data query, select all of the entities, and this is for the parts to change set and fetch the top 20, right? And if I want to do more, I could uh, say, you know, have here now native tooling capabilities to say that, you know, for example, I want to expand this or I want to filter this. And this accelerates the development massively. Plus if a type changes, right, I get the errors, not during runtime, I get all of the errors already through our uh, through Xcode here during development time, right? And let's have a look at the sample application UI, which was generated, right? And this is just for demo purposes to validate that, hey, you know, is the sync completely working? So I can log on here against the backend. And then the once I have authenticated and say, remember me, now it goes towards the backend authentic or IDP I authenticates me. I have a, a couple screens, right? Which can be customized for the compliance. And then it's synchronizing the data, right? Because this is automatically offline. And once the offline store has been built, it will show the UI, right? And this is the initial sync, well, this is only once. Then I can dive into the destination and I can see, right, you see with the speed, this is offline data set. This UI is generated, right? This is in all most projects, this gets thrown away, right? And you put a complete UI on top. But what you have seen in less than three minutes, I basically completely implemented authentication and offline data sync without writing a single line of code, right? So we have uh, written a demo application uh, against the exact same data model. It was a couple of weeks of development time, right? And let's have a look how this application looks like, right? Same data model, 
same ground, we have just uh, put another UI layer on top. Um, and you can see, right, this is a native application, behaves native. I have all the bells and whistles to interact with the data. Um, I have a map integration here. I, I can look at orders. Um, I can react and, and uh, exchange data uh, uh, directly with the backend. This is, for example, uh, online to go in against the backend, right? This, I have uh, very nice uh, controls showing a timeline capability. The core data is offline here. So I showed you how fast you can build a native iOS application with our tools. Through the generation of the sync layer, developers can really focus on building a nice user experience. Right? Everything is ready for the enterprise, the data is secure, and the administrators can operate this solution really easy as it runs through mobile services. If you want to learn more about how to build enterprise mobile solutions, go to developerssap.com slash mobile and of course, join us on our next Tech Byte session where I'm going to be talking about the Android SDK. Thank you very much.